This is BBC One for the South East. Now the news with George Alagaya and Rob Smith at six o'clock. Welcome to South East Today. I'm Rob Smith. And I'm Polly Evans. Tonight's top stories. Do more to protect people from party drugs. The mother of Sussex victim Hester Stewart says a government ban won't go far enough. I really think that it should be flagged up as something that's dangerous. Just like when you think of heroin, you think of addiction and danger. Snow misery, another day of travel chaos for southeast commuters. Our reporters are live in Dover and in Tunbridge Wells. Also in tonight's programme, a common or garden seal. How did Gulliver end up in Benenden, 10 miles inland? Home for Christmas, the mother who's won her fight to bring her children back from Indonesia. And from punk to prayer, the rock and roll vicar who gave up the dark side for God. Good evening. The mother of a Sussex student who died after taking a so-called party drug has criticised a government ban on the substance, saying it doesn't go nearly far enough. Marion Stewart has been campaigning since the death of her daughter Hester in April. Well, tomorrow, GBL, the drug that her daughter had taken, will become illegal. But Mrs Stewart says much more needs to be done to protect young people in the future. Sarah Smith reports. Right, it's approaching a quarter to seven. This is our top story tonight. The mother of a Sussex student who died after taking a so-called party drug, GBL, says a government ban on the substance that comes into force tomorrow doesn't go far enough. Hester Stewart died in April this year. Also in tonight's programme, from punk Satanist to man of the cloth, the extraordinary transformation of the Reverend Ravi Holy. And if you're fed up with the slush and the mush, then join me later in the programme to find out if the ground will be crunchy for Christmas or soggy for Santa. Now, she was facing the heartbreaking prospect of having to leave her two young children in Indonesia when her visa expired. Very few people get to meet their heroes, but that's exactly what happened to 13-year-old Safia Stewart from Hempstead near Gillingham. Yes, she wrote to ask if she could meet the American civil rights activist Jesse Jackson as part of a black history project, and now she treasures a photo of that meeting. This is her story. Now, it's hard to believe after all the cold weather that November was one of the mildest years we've had in over 350 years. So mild that Robin and Jay Marlowe from Seaford recorded a bumper crop of kiwis, 345 from one tree. Wow. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what could you say? That's making Daddy, me very, thank very you very much. Let's quickly recap tonight's top stories. The bad weather is continuing to cause disruption on the roads, railways and airports around the UK. Heavy snowfalls left many roads impassable and rail timetables in a mess. And the mother of a Sussex student who died after taking the so-called party drug GBLs criticised a government ban on the substance saying it doesn't go nearly far enough. Marion Stewart has been campaigning since the death of her daughter Hester in April. But that's it from us for now. I'll be back with the late news at 10.25 and of course the 8 o'clock update. Hope you can join us for that. But from now, goodbye. Bye.